What's going on YouTube? This is Xavier Professor X back with another Fast Five Fragrance Review. And I wanted to start this Fast Five Fragrance Review off to that Lone Ideal Intense by Guerlain, which I got from eBay, the split. And I'm giving this one the red light, everybody, because I'm, we're pretty much getting next to nothing. You feeling me? In the whole scheme of perfumery with this Lone Ideal line, along with this flanker, you're pretty much getting nothing of actual substance, especially if you're comparing this to the Eau de Parfum version. Uh, with this, along with the Eau de Parfum, you're pretty much getting the exact same weirdly fresh opening. You're getting the exact same pretty much dry down of the, with the very transparent cherry almond undertones just with a slightly amped up tonka bean and this one is quite disappointing um, it's pretty much lone ideal EDP under it's pretty much metaphorically speaking the same flavored bubble gum wrapped in a different wrapper so I de highly defi definitely recommend that you skip this one Next fragrance is to that Mason Martin Margiela that whispers in the library and even though this smells good I'm still giving this one the red light because of the poor projection, the poor performance and also when you factor in that to the price of the fragrance to the concept it doesn't really work in the whole grand scheme perfumery and you have to ask yourself are you going to get noticed with this? Are people going to even notice that you're wearing a fragrance at all? Um, are they even going to acknowledge you or compliment you for wearing this? And to, to answer that, it would be no. And so what I have to say is, is that Whispers in the Library is a high-end red light, but still a red light nonetheless. So definitely another pass for Whispers in the Library. Next one, fragrance up for review is to that Mason Martin Margiela, that coffee break. And I'm giving this one a low yellow light, you feeling me? Because honestly, this really isn't going anywhere. This really isn't setting any new boundaries with the note of coffee. And for, but at the same time, Mason Martin Margiela has the core fundamentals with their replica line where they would have to be completely go out of their way and complete or completely be off in order to make a awful fragrance like for instance uh, the very disappointing sailing day for instance and and you know this was this what kind of frustrates me you feeling me uh, from sampling all these new releases because when you think of the note of coffee you think of like a really deep rich type of gourmand type of take on coffee um, and if you're thinking of like niche you would think of it in a way of for instance uh, kerosene's follow which I, de I definitely love and adore um, and for a coffee break to be pretty much next to nothing is I would have to put this as one of the biggest disappointments for this year so a yellow light for coffee break by Mason Martin Margiela next fragrance up to review is that Gourmand Cocaine by Guerlain by that Lola Sense recommended and I'm giving this one the green light this one is pretty amazing it's one of the best Gourmands, I have to say. It does lean a little feminine though, and I have to give you this one a green light with caution because if you're out there watching my channel, watching this review, and um, you're an alpha male and you're th thinking this fragrance, uh, Gourmand Cocaine, may pique your interest, you may want to sample this first. Um, not only the price tag of this is quite high, but also the fact that this does lean quite feminine. And depending on your acquired taste, this may not be your 
your cup of tea. So green light for Gourmand Cocaine by Guerlain. And next, last fragrance up for review is to that Serge Dutan's 5 o'clock Ojanjabra. I was really excited to try this and wear this fragrance on my skin, which I have a decant of. I, I thought that this was going to be a home run by Serge Dutan's and give Sergi a run for its money. Especially looking at the note breakdown, but sadly it's not. Um, I have to disagree with Coach Rob. I'm giving 5 o'clock Ojan Jabra the red light. To my nose, especially with that bright opening, this pretty much smells like ammonium and spices to my nose. Uh, so very disappointing release. I... Um, I was hoping this would have like let's say more vanilla and maybe a little bit of caramel to kind of make it smell like more of a gingerbread cookie but it, 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 it's just not there. Uh, the execution was very poor. So red light for 5 o'clock Ojanjabra. So that's it guys. So that's it everyone. Those are my five fragrances up for review today. Let me know. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me know what you think of these fragrances down in the comments section below. Do you like them, love them, hate them? And also, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I definitely appreciate your love and support. I'm trying to get to a thousand subs uh, as soon as I can. So, um, thank you so much for watching and tuning in. I'm Xavier Professor X, wishing y'all um, be safe. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Class dismissed. Top five, I'm sorry, top ten designer and niche fragrance lists are coming up. So stay tuned. Have a great one. Happy holidays.